What's up beauties? Today I am doing something that is a major passion project for me. Um, something that's been in the works for a week now. You guys um, probably know if you follow my Instagram page that I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. I did a look a couple years ago doing Shireen Baratheon's grayscale on one side of my face just like she had it and today I'm going to be turning myself into the Night Queen. So I'm going to be doing Daenerys on one half of my face and I'm actually going to be doing like transformation style makeup to hopefully make my features look more like hers and then I'm going to be doing the Night King on the other half of my face using prosthetics. So the process for that has been pretty intensive. It's been like three separate work days up until today and I will be inserting the footage after I'm done with this intro so you guys can watch and see what goes into it and then when I'm done putting on the prosthetics I'll be painting it as well. So hopefully this turns out good. This is the first time I've actually tried this use of prosthetics with my life cast so um, I'm really excited and thanks for coming along on the journey. So quick little story, um, last year I actually wanted to do a very similar 
look to what I'm doing tonight, which was I wanted to do my, my like, at Daenerys on one side and then Dragon on the other, and I thought it was such an original idea, and I went on YouTube one day and I found this amazing makeup artist named um, Kaylee, um, most of you probably know her, and she did the exact thing I had planned. Like I, the only like twist I had, it, I had on it that like she didn't do was that I wanted to make it look like the skin was like coming off and like the dragon scales are coming through, but hers looked way better than <laughs> anything I had sort of dreamed of in my head anyway. So after that I was like, yeah, I don't really think I want to do that if uh, she's already done it so well. So now's my sort of second chance. I came up with this idea late one night and I hope it looks as good um, executed as it does in my head. So this is the reference picture I'm using of her. Amelia Clark is a beautiful woman with features so different than mine. So I'm going to be changing or trying to change quite a few of my features. I'd be surprised how many, like I pretty much have to change everything. I have fully different lips, nose, eyebrows. The only thing that's even remotely close is my eye shape is similar to hers, but um, hers are super deep set in right here, where mine are deep set like out through here. That'll be a minor change, but pretty much have to reconstruct my whole face even to look even remotely like her. difficult part but it's like really really like probably the way she's most different than me is her eyebrows they are so straight there's no arch in them at all so I'm gonna try and make my brows look straighter by filling them in below my arch and then giving myself some hairs to sort of even it out here we'll see how it goes luckily she's like me and a blonde with dark, dark brows. Hers are even darker than mine, so at least I have that in my favor. I think that helped. prosthetics came off which I'm like so excited about I can't even tell you guys because I was so worried about that part but they came off in one piece exactly how I hoped so I'm circling one say a little prayer for me okay so quick google search to confirm what I thought which is that I can put rosé right on my eyebrow I don't want to lose my whole eyebrow. So, while I'm waiting for my prose to dry, I wanted to discuss why we're all here, which is Game of Thrones. So, do you guys have any fan theories about Game of Thrones? How it will end? The only one I have, because I really just want to see how it ends. I'm a huge book fan and uh, show fan. My husband would say too much. Um, and uh, I, the only theory I have is that Sansa and the Hound will end up like together. So if that happens, you heard it here first.
Okay, you guys. <laughs> Biggest project I've ever taken on on my own, like, aside from being in school. And I was so nervous about it, and it took so long. I was so happy with the way it turned out. It's really hard to talk in this prosthetic, just that's why I'm talking weird. There's some obvious problems that like probably only I care about, but like my edges are really, like I, my edges are really big, but it's just because they came too close to my lips. So just like a couple little things I learned from doing this, but you know, the craziest thing is that the part I'm most like stunned by in this is like the transformation side. Like, I think it actually looks like her on this side, which just blows me away because I didn't know that that's never really like a style of makeup I've tried too much. So that was really cool to try that. I think I'm going to try some more though. It, I definitely learned a lot from watching Alexa Stone's Kim Kardashian transformation video and that really helped me with this. And I, I definitely learned a lot from watching Mikey's White Walker video. So. Shout out to both of those artists for helping me on this journey. Um, oh my god, I'm, I'm so thrilled with the way this came out and thank you so much if you took the time to watch this because this was such a, a passion project for me. Like my two, two of my favorite things in the world which is Game of Thrones and uh, makeup obviously. So thank you for coming back and I'll see you guys on the next one. Drakkar.